Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this feature, what I wanted to do is explore a Trello alternative. Now a lot of you guys know Taskworld, which I featured in my top 5 Trello alternatives roundup last month, and what I wanted to do is explore this application a little further. Now I know many of you guys are in teams at the moment where you're working with other people and you're always looking for recommendations for new resources, so I wanted to share what Taskworld can do. So what Taskworld reminded me of when I just started playing around with it really is Trello plus Asana. It's got the sort of tre uh, the Asana sort of layout in terms of like the structure, like what you can do with it, but it has the Trello abilities that really make it a bit different. Now, first impressions are the user interface is pretty impressive, but what I wanted to do is start with going over some of the features and then going over the pricing and information and also sharing what some of my opinions are. So let's get stuck in with some of the features. So the first thing you see is it's very visually similar to a, uh, a Trello, sorry. So you have the, the, the Kanban setup, so you can actually have different types of setup. So the first thing you can do so if you hit the top left hand corner when you create an account, you can create a new project. Um, so for example, if I put YouTube 2, because I've already created YouTube 1, you can make this one public and you can add any project members. And that's why it reminded me of Asana uh, in a way, because the same very similar structure. And this is a project template. So I've gone with Kanban for the previous one, but if you want to, you can also go for departments. Um, this is for teams as well. You can have a single team and a weekday one as two, which is quite nice because it's like almost taking a Kanban temp template but actually applying it to a weekday. So for this one, I'm just going to go on to the weekday one. So if you actually had, I used to actually use a very similar setup when I was inside of Trello. I actually used a weekday basis on a Kanban. So you actually add your tasks into these lists uh, per day and obviously they correlate. And you can add separate task lists which might correlate to it or a Saturday and Sunday if you are really on fire. Um, but let's just go back to here. So as you can see, I've got my dashboard. Uh, I've got here, I've got the direct tasks so I can see all of the tasks I have completed. And I've also got my projects here. So you can add the status to the projects too. So you can actually see whether it's on hold, being completed, you know, etc., etc., cancelled, which is quite nice because this is very similar to um, Asana. And you can actually change these settings uh, to any, any descriptions. Uh, any due dates for the project and you can actually export it to CSV at any time too. From this view you can actually search projects so if you've got a stupid amount of projects there then you can search them and find them pretty fast and you can also sort them via updated too which is pretty nice and there's a grid and list view there. Now as I said this is very visual so let's just jump into the Kanban view. So the Kanban view is detailed so what you can do here, uh, card. So once you enter a new card you can actually create it into a to-do uh, you can add checklists, you can follow certain projects, uh, you can add a task post, which is quite nice, uh, and add a complexity to the item. You can attach items, you can actually email tasks in, you can log certain items, you can add scene by as well, which is nice because if you've got a group of team, like a group team that want to see all of the scene, um, who's seen certain items, then that's important. You can also add project templates, so you can tweak it. You can assign tasks, you can add due dates, high-res images, items, and drop and drag. Uh, you've also got repeat tasks and spreadsheet transfer as well. So let's show you a couple of these. So here's the assign one. Obviously, you can assign anyone from here if you want to assign yourself. Very similar to uh, Trello, except the icon doesn't come up. You've also got um, uh, this tagging system, which is quite nice, so follow-up you could have, and obviously that's all great there. Uh, you can add a like a repeat, uh, but you can just add a due date if it's simple. Uh, so once you're in the task, so let's say create task world video. So once you've created that one, it looks very similar to Trello. Uh, you come up there, one active task in there, so that's obviously in do, and obviously you can drag them between, which is quite nice. Everything seems to be working really well on web, which is nice, it's simple. You can add that description there. You can actually change the location of it, the start date, any of the tags, uh, the points. So the importance of the, uh, like, so, ooh, that's a four out of five, which is important. You can actually change the color of the label, uh, which is nice. So that's the color there. And as you come out, it actually shows you the color. So that's four points worth. So that's very similar to that Tiago app I reviewed a while ago. I'll try and include that in the description if I remember, but 
that was a very similar feature. So you can add checklist items here, which is quite nice. Um, over here, this is where you add your files and your links. So you can add in from Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, and attach any other documents or uh, information there, which is nice. Uh, very simple, very simple to use. So if I just bung that one in, uh, just to remember the subscribe button. It processes it quite fast. I'm not sure it does image bleeds on here, but uh, I wouldn't expect it to, to do it actually. Yes, it does, it does image bleeds, but I'm sure there's a feature in a way that you can turn that off. So, you, ah, yeah, there you go, unpin, because um, obviously that might be a bit ugly for your team to see and a bit messy. So you can unpin it, which is quite a nice feature. Going down here, they, as I mentioned, I don't know, no, I didn't mention, they have Slack-like features. So you can actually use threads in here. Um, you can actually attach files um, and, you know, uh, be able to mention people, add emojis, GIFs, yeah, all sorts. Like, this is basically sort of like mini Slack here. Um, but the real feature is down here, so you can actually chat uh, in these threads here. So you can actually browse messages. So that's where the real function comes from. So if you want to add to do there, so you can add like um, channel, hello, everyone. And that message will come up there, and obviously people can communicate through there. Um, now this will correlate to some of the uh, like items you've got, so you can actually like uh, no, that's not a bad example. Um, you can actually correlate them to the ones that are being talked on your threads, but it's a nice way. Like a lot of people at the moment are looking at integrating Asana with Slack, but this sort of tries to be both of them, like Asana, Slack, and Trello. Uh, in a way. So that's pretty impressive, like not many apps are doing that at the moment. Now, as I mentioned just before, they've got integration with Box um, and Google Drive and Dropbox, but they've also got integrations with Mac Calendar, Outlook and Gmail as well, so you can import any items there. Um, now, I've only shown you the task view side of stuff, but you can actually go into two other different views. Very similar to Trello, you can add uh, a calendar. Uh, segment so you can actually sync it to your Mac calendar so if I click that uh, you can actually copy the ICS and also convert it to any of these Google Cal, Outlook or Mac OS calendar but there's also a timeline view which I thought was something a bit different like Trello didn't do this for me and having this timeline view you can be a bit more like uh, detailed with it so you can actually see the week uh, view so this might be nice if you're looking for like Gantt chart like like a good Gantt chart. So, so let me just jump back into this. So as you can see, uh, this is that view. If I go into the timeline feature, you can see that task and it, you can actually hover over it uh, and click into it, which is really nice. I like that. Like, And then it sets the start date and you can have everything there. So you don't only have the task, but you have the timeline. Um, there's also analytics as well, uh, which is pretty impressive. So you can actually see all of the, wait, so you can also like see the start date uh, of certain projects completion date and it's sort of like seeing everything at a glass. It's almost like a dashboard and you can see completed tasks, any planned ones, remaining ones and any project completion uh, and based on certain tasks doing at the moment. So this could be good for your HR team to go and see everything, uh, a project progress, add any comments. And then there's obviously files. So this is why it reminds me of Asana in a similar way because obviously you've got that, those Kanban abilities and things like that. Now, now, Asana has added boards in recent months, so this is actually more of a competitor to Asana than it is Trello. But I wanted to feature it as a Trello competitor because I do think it is more of a Trello competitor at the moment. So over here, you've also got people. You can actually manage the people in there, which is quite a nice way. Um, so if you've got lots of people or you've got pending members, you can see everyone there. And once you click into them, you can see all of their departments. You can assign them to certain things. Uh, or direct tasks, that's pretty impressive, uh, where you can add and assign everything there, including tags, due date, and attachments. Um, and then obviously, as I was mentioning before, you can actually create your own threads uh, based on the channels. So uh, if I had a, so if I click that, it will go straight to it, but you can actually turn and switch off that. They've all got formatting as well, which is nice, and GIF attachment too. Um, you can actually browse any direct messages that you have, which is a nice addition as well. Up here, you can actually view any of the messages and you can view any notifications you had. There's also a help center, which is pretty handy. So down here, you can also chat to members of once you're inside of a Kanban board or any a task board. You can actually chat to the members from here or start a new chat as well, which is quite handy if you're just looking to get uh, into that quite fast. 
So one thing I did is had a look at some of the additional features. They've got storage of up to 50 gigs uh, per account. Now, I thought that was a good amount. Uh, I'm not sure what Asana have got. I need to do check into that, but it seems like a good amount for a team. It's encrypted, so 128-bit SLSSL um, at the moment, which is good, and it obviously works on Amazon Web Services. So if you're someone who freaks out about Amazon Web Services because of outages, now there was one recently, then if you're running a big company on it, then you just need to be aware. But uh, Akature, Akar Hotels, and Amazon are using it at the moment. Um, you know, Trello is free. So the Trello and Asana, if you're using it per person, it's free. Now, an individual account is $8 per month, and it's annually billed, so that would be a lot more. Um, so if you're using it for teams, uh, that's per person, so $8 per month per person. So you'll probably be racking up quite a big bill at the end of the year if you're adding a lot of people. But that seems to be the going rate. So you get access to all of those features mentioned. Um, and you also get 50 gigs storage as, as basis. Um, maximum amount. So there's a, there's, a, there's a version called Task World Max, which is $499 per month and gives you unlimited users storage and setup. So you're paying $500 for everything, like unlimited everything. So you could add as many people as you like for as much as you want. So that's probably the best for enterprises. Now, I could... Now, this is a good recommendation. I found this tool pretty easy to use. Now, I played around with it for a couple of days. Uh, the user interface is pretty simple. Now, the functionality is easy to get on with. There's, It's really what it says on the tin. Like, Asana and uh, Trello do have these sort of, like, bit more fun features for individuals, but what I recommend this more is more for project management inside of teams, not so much for individuals, just due to the pricing and the seriousness of the feature. If you want to get some hardcore project management done, then this might be the application for you. Um, now, anyway, guys, I thought, I, I thought I'd review this and check it out. So let me know in the comments whether you're using Task World. I'd love to hear your thoughts, opinions, and whether you're using this or an alternative, because this is all about sharing alternatives and sharing uh, what resources everyone else is using so that it can get useful. So the comments will be a recommendation guide, but also a helping to check out whether Task World is really for you in a work context. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe because I, I put out regular videos. I put out three or four a week and they're about all of these sort of applications. And I really want you to um, check out some of the other pieces I'm doing as well, because I think they'll help you and your teams or you as yourself setting up and uh, getting ready. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.